there was a, a whole discussion I was listening to that said, based on the dark forest concept, which I can explain that if anybody wants to know, um, when we ever get to spacefaring, we should go get that thing and destroy it. <laughs> One of the explanation, possible explanations, we don't know if it's true, is the dark forest concept. And they talked about it a lot in the three body problem, which is a, a book and now TV series. And that is this concept of if a intelligent species ever detected a growing but inferior intelligent species, it is in our best interest to destroy it instead of trying to befriend it because of a variety of different reasons, but it is better to destroy it. So for a species to live as long as possible, they should not let their presence known to the greater universe. But in the dark forest, survival is paramount and anything else is a possible conflict to long-term survival. Whereas in three body problem book series, which includes the dark forest is one of the book titles and one of the concepts, the capabilities uh, from a technological perspective can be so vast that it is mind bending as to the capabilities. So in the book, they talk about sending a, um, a black hole weapon and another is a, a dimensional weapon. So imagine a weapon that collapses a dimension and we live in a two dimensional world and we just so that I, and that's my point is the limitations in our understanding become so paramount to our ability to analyze the equate the Fermi's paradox and the Drake equation, all that kind of stuff that it just doesn't make sense. Right. But the dark forest is a possible reason why we haven't discovered aliens is because they're like hiding from us because they're hiding from another that's even more advanced. So everybody's trying to hide from each other so they don't wipe each other out. So in these numbers that we talked about earlier, like the 5,500 confirmed exoplanets with 70 identified as habitable and one, the observable of, at least universe. one of them possibly being already populated with organic life based on some of the markers they see from the radio frequency scan of that planet, that there are signs of a material that is generally created from an organic carbon-based life form. And they found it and they think that the probability is that that planet does have life.